Hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Yeva and I got a quick and fun little layout for you guys today. I am using a sketch and it's a sketch uh, number 355 by Jessica Franco and I found it on Pinterest. And I've done a little bit of pre-planning for this layout but I'm using mostly Cartabella papers and from a few different collections uh, but all mostly Cartabella. One is from Let It Snow the other one's Snow Much Fun, and I believe that's all of them. But um, I'm sticking pretty close to that sketch, as you can see in the corner. I'm going to mat my that dark gray, I guess, um, paper on the white. And I'm also going to gut it. And I'm actually really glad I gut it because I end up using some of that background piece, that wood grain, for um, some more layering, which is going to be perfect right there, as you can see. I'm glad I did that and it kind of ties it all together. On this sketch it's kind of fun that you can actually add more layers. So behind all the photos you can add like a ton of different layers or where that where I'm going to do that brown wood grain you can even add more like banners or again just more layers and I think you can make it really fun and more colorful with this. But I'm going to stick pretty simple. I'm going to uh, play with the embellishments quite a bit. I'm really happy with that. So I'm using four photos that are about three by four, slightly smaller, and I'm going to just kind of play with them, put them slightly at an angle to make it feel playful and fun. Now the photos have a little bit of red on them. Somebody's wearing pants that are red, and then the sled is red, and so I'm actually going to bring that red uh, in with the embellishments, not the paper, and I'll, I'll show you in that in a minute. The one thing I was a little having a hard time was with the title. There, the words "let it" fit perfectly between the two photos, but then the word "snow" overlapped uh, the photos, and so I had a hard time not sh knowing what to do if I should separate the photos. Or um, so I decided to leave it, play with embellishments, and then see how I liked it all in the end. Which I actually left it, and I'm really happy that I did. So here I'm going to add some of those little red um, splatters, that red color, in the embellishments, and just not overwhelmingly a lot. I think it all ties together so nicely. I'm really happy with that. And I didn't have a lot of snowflakes, but um, I'm going to split, I cut one of them in half in a minute, and then put it on the other side to kind of stretch it out, make it a little more cohesive, and I'm really happy with how that works. Also, the Letters came from a set, from a Christmas thicker set, and all the, the sayings were very like Christmassy, as you can see, but that's the only one that said, let it snow. So I'm, I'm so happy I found that one. And then I end up sprinkling some wood veneer stars around. It kind of looked like more snowflakes, gave an extra little dimension to the layout because everything else is just stickers and paper. So I'm really glad I did the wood veneers. After that, I actually sprinkle on some silver mist and uh, date my my page. That pretty much finishes up the page. I actually end up walking away from it and leaving it thinking I was done, I was good. But then I came back to it and looked at the sketch again. And on the sketch, it has like stitching all around the edge of the photo. And so I decided to do some faux stitching with a Uniball Signal pen. I had just purchased it recently and I was like, oh, perfect opportunity to use it. And um, I'll show you that in a minute that I actually come back, I do the stitching, and that pretty much finishes the layout. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you have any questions about anything, leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for joining me in this video. I actually do a close-up video at the end of this to give you a closer look at how it all came together and how it all looks. Thanks again for watching you guys and catch me in another video next week.